Hello, good morning students. Today we will discuss one important chapter, Inverse Trigonometric Functions. In this chapter, first I will explain briefly some synopsis. Now see the table of domain and range. Sin of x domain is minus 1 comma 1 closure bracket. Range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 closure bracket. Cos of x domain is minus 1 comma 1 closure bracket. Range is 0 comma pi closure bracket. Tan number 6 domain is R, range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 open bracket. Question number 6 domain is R minus minus 1 comma 1 and range is minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 minus 0. Second number 6 range is R minus minus 1 comma 1, range is 0 comma pi minus pi by 2. Cot number 6 domain is R, range is 0 comma pi. Next, first point, sin inverse 1 by x equal to Question inverse x. Here, x is greater than or equal to 1 or x is less than or equal to minus 1. Cos inverse 1 by x equal to secant inverse x. x is greater than or equal to 1 or x is less than or equal to minus 1. Tan inverse 1 by x equal to cot inverse x. Here, x is greater than 0. Next, second point. Sin inverse minus x equal to minus sin inverse x. Tan inverse minus x equal to minus tan inverse x. Question inverse minus x equal to minus question inverse x. Third point. Cos inverse minus x equal to pi minus cos inverse x. Secant inverse minus x equal to pi minus secant inverse x. Cot inverse minus x equal to pi minus cot inverse x. Next, fourth point. Sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2. Question inverse x plus secant inverse x equal to pi by 2. Tan inverse x plus cot inverse x equal to pi by 2. Next, fifth point. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y equal to tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. Here, x is greater than 0, y is greater than 0 and xy is less than 1. Sixth point, tan inverse x plus tan inverse y equal to pi plus tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. Here, xy is greater than 1. Seventh point, tan inverse x minus tan inverse y equal to tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus xy. Here, xy is greater than minus 1. Sin inverse 2x into root 1 minus x square equal to 2 sin inverse x minus 1 by root 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1 by root 2. It is equal to 2 cos inverse x. Here 1 by root 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. Next, 10th point. 2 tan inverse x equal to sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square. Here mod x is less than or equal to 1. 11th point. 2 tan inverse x equal to cos inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. Here x is greater than or equal to 0. Next, 12th point. 2 tan inverse x equal to tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square. Here minus 1 is less than x is less than 1. Next, 13th point. 3 sin inverse x equal to sin inverse 3x minus 4x cube. Here x belongs to minus 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Close the bracket. Next, 14th point. 3 cos inverse x equal to cos inverse 4x cube minus 3x. x belongs to 1 by 2 comma 1. 15th point. 3 tan inverse x equal to tan inverse 3x minus x cube by 1 minus 3x square. Here minus 1 by root 3 comma 1 by root 3 open a bracket. These are the synopsis. Now we will go to the problems. Number 1. The value of x which satisfies the equation tan inverse x equal to sin inverse 3 by root 10 in. Here this value I am taking theta. So it is x equal to tan theta. Now use the triangle. Here sin theta value is 3 by root 10. This is 3 opposite side and hypotenuse is root 10. This is the adjacent side. So tan theta value is 3 by 1 equal to 3. Option 1 is the correct answer. Number 2. The range of sin inverse x minus cos inverse x is. We know that sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2. So sin inverse x value can write pi by 2 minus cos inverse x minus cos inverse x. It is equal to pi by 2 minus 2 cos inverse x. Now we know the range of cos inverse x is 0 comma pi. So one time cos inverse x value write 0 and one time write cos inverse x value is pi. Pi by 2 minus 2 into 0 comma pi by 2 minus 2 pi. It is equal to pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 2. So Option 2 is the correct answer. Number 3. The domain of sin inverse 2x is. Here, sin inverse x domain is minus 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. Here, x plus 2x is. So, it is minus 1 is less than or equal to 2x is less than or equal to 1. Divided with 2. Minus 1 by 2. 
less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1 by 2. So, option 4 is the correct answer. Number 4. If only principal values are considered, sin of x equal to cos of x is satisfied yield. Here, sin of x range is minus pi by 2, pi by 2 and cos of x range is 0, pi. So, it should be positive values only. So, here, x value, which value it is, both are equal values. You see here, if x equal to 1 by root 2, sin of 1 by root 2 equal to pi by 4. Cos inverse 1 by root 2 equal to pi by 4. So, x equal to 1 by root 2 is the answer. Option 2 is the correct answer. Number 5. Cos inverse minus 1 by 2 minus 2 sin inverse 1 by 2 plus 3 cos inverse minus 1 by root 2 minus 4 tan inverse minus 1 equal to. First, uh, I will find separate values. Cos inverse 1 minus 1 by 2. Cos inverse minus x is pi minus cos inverse x. So, it is pi minus cos inverse 1 by 2 it is pi minus pi by 3 it is equal to 2 pi by 3 next sin inverse 1 by 2 equal to pi by 6 next cos inverse minus 1 by root 2 it is equal to pi minus cos inverse 1 by root 2 equal to pi minus pi by 4 equal to 3 pi by 4. Next, tan was minus 1 equal to minus tan was 1 equal to minus pi by 4. Substitute is all values. Cos was minus 1 by 2. It is 2 pi by 3 minus 2 into pi by 6 plus 3 into 3 pi by 4 minus 4 into minus pi by 4 it is equal to 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 3 it is pi by 3 plus here 9 pi plus 4 pi 13 pi by 4 now take the MCM 12 it is 4 pi plus 39 pi it is equal to 43 pi by 12 so, option 3 is the correct answer. Question number 6. The value of cos inverse cos 5 pi by 3 plus sin inverse sin 5 pi by 3 is. See here, here 5 pi by 3 does not belong to 0 comma pi. Next, sin inverse range is minus pi by 2 pi by 2. So, we can write here cos inverse cos 2 pi minus pi by 3 plus sin inverse sin 2 pi minus pi by 3 it is equal to cos inverse cos pi by 3 plus sin inverse minus sin pi by 3 it is equal to pi by 3 plus sin inverse sin minus pi by 3 equal to pi by 3 minus pi by 3 equal to 0. So, option 1 is the correct answer. 7. If sin inverse x plus sin inverse y equal to 2 pi by 3, then cos inverse x plus cos inverse y equal to, here I am taking this value with k, now add both. Sin inverse x plus cos inverse x value with pi by 2 plus sin inverse y plus cos inverse y value with pi by 2 equal to 2 pi by 3 plus k pi by 2 plus pi by 2 pi minus 2 pi by 3 equal to k k equal to pi by 3 so option 2 is the correct answer number 8 the value of second square tan inverse 3 plus question square cot inverse 2 is here I am taking this is a and this is b so it is equal to second square a plus question square b it is 1 plus tan square a plus question square b value is 1 plus cos square b now tan was 3 equal to a means tan a value is 3 it is 1 plus 3 square plus 1 plus cos inverse 2 equal to b then cos b equal to 2 2 square it is 1 plus 9 10 10 plus 
5, 15. So option 3 is the correct answer. Number 9. If sin minus x minus cos minus x equal to pi by 6, then x equal to. Here we know that sin minus x plus cos minus x is pi by 2. So it is pi by 2 minus cos inverse x minus cos inverse x equal to pi by 6. It is 90 degrees minus 2 cos inverse x equal to 30 degrees. It is 90 minus 30, it is 60 degrees equal to 2 cos inverse x. Cos inverse x equal to 30 degrees. x equal to cos 30 degrees equal to root 3 by 2. So, option 3 is the correct answer. Number 10. Cot inverse AB plus 1 by A minus B plus cot inverse BC plus 1 by B minus C plus cot inverse CA plus 1 by C minus A equal to. You yeah, observe here, these terms here, A minus B, B minus C, C minus A. One cyclic order is there. No need of thinking. Answer is 0. Option 1 is the correct answer. Number 11. Tan inverse square root of A into A plus B plus C by BC plus tan inverse square root of B into A plus B plus C by CA plus tan inverse square root of C into A plus B plus C by AB equal to. Here, this problem I am giving a small trick. I am taking A equal to B equal to C equal to 1. Then, first part, it is tan inverse root 3. Second value, tan inverse root 3. Plus third value, tan inverse root 3. It is equal to 3 into tan inverse root 3. It is equal to 3 into pi by 3 equal to pi. So, option 1 is the correct answer. Number 12. If sin inverse x plus sin inverse y plus sin inverse z equal to 3 pi by 2, then the value of x power 9 plus y power 9 plus z power 9 minus 1 by x power 9 into y power 9 into z power 9 is. Here, they are giving sum of 3 terms with 3 pi by 2. I am taking 3 are equal values. So, it is pi by 2, pi by 2, pi by 2. So, x equal to y equal to z equal to sin pi by 2. It is equal to 1. Substitute these values here. It is x power 9, 1 power 9, 1 plus 1 power 9, 1 plus 1 power 9, 1 minus 1 by 1 into 1 into 1. It is equal to 3 minus 1 equal to 2. So, option 3 is the correct answer. Number 13. If cos inverse x plus cos inverse y plus cos inverse z plus cos inverse t equal to 4 pi, then the value of x square plus y square plus z square plus t square is. Here, there is sum of the 4 terms is 4 pi. So, each value I am taking pi, 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 pi. So, x equal to y equal to z equal to t equal to cos pi it is equal to minus 1 so x value minus 1 y value minus 1 z value minus 1 t value minus 1 substitute here it is minus 1 square plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 square it is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 4 so, option 1 is the correct answer. 14. If x, comma, y, comma, z are all non-zero and x square plus y square plus z square equal to r square, then tan inverse yz by xr plus tan inverse zx by yr plus tan inverse xy by zr equal to. Here I am taking x equal to y equal to z equal to 1. Then r square equal to 3. That implies r equal to root 3. Now substitute these values here. It is tan inverse 1 by root 3 plus tan inverse 1 by root 3 plus tan inverse 1 by root 3. It is equal to 3 into tan inverse 1 by root 3 equal to 3 into pi by 6. It is equal to pi by 2. So, option 2 is the correct answer. Number 15. If alpha equal to sin inverse root 3 by 2 plus sin inverse 1 by 3 and beta equal to cos inverse root 3 by 2 plus cos inverse 1 by 3. Then, see here, we know that sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equal to pi by 2. Now, alpha plus beta equal to, here sin inverse root 3 by 2, here cos inverse root 3 by 2. 
it is 5 by 2 plus sin is 1 by 3 plus cos is 1 by 3 5 by 2 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2 5 so alpha plus beta equal to 5